Hey, Shahar Gilad here from Waves again. Today I want to show you a really quick and easy trick I learned from mixing engineer Ken Pooch Van Druten, who's mixed bands such as Linkin Park, Kiss, he's a front of house mixer, he also does studio work, and he showed me how to make my guitar sound bigger and wider, kind of that Linkin Park sound. Here we go. I got a track I'm working on, and it sounds something like this. Okay, so I'm gonna jump to this guitar here, and it sounds pretty straightforward, just a slightly distorted guitar. Sounds like this. So Ken told me, take the guitar, make some room for the vocals, the snare, and the kick in the middle. Take the guitar, pan it to about 10 o'clock, then bus it to an AUX, so that's what I'm doing here, and on the return of that, throw on Waves Doubler. I got Waves Doubler on a mono um, AUX track. I untick the direct signal so that I don't get any of the direct guitar. I untick the second voice because I just want one voice in this case. For the delay, go somewhere between 15 and 17, or 15 and 20. I got it set to 17 right here, and feedback at zero. So basically what we get is a copy of the guitar that is slightly delayed and very slightly detuned. Now I pan that to about 2 o'clock. So I've got my original guitar here panned to about 10 o'clock and this return panned to about 2 o'clock. And let's hear what that sounds like. So just to remind you what it sounded like before and with it. So it's a nice easy way to make the guitar sound wider, fatter, throw it to the sides, make a little room down the center. That's it. See you guys next time.